Hi everybody, Jerome right here again. I have an image up here um, from the um, one of the pages of the Lost Book of Nostradamus. And as you, if you've been following my um, my decodings and my works, actually, you'll know that um, I have decoded um, multiple images that are actually depicted in that um, um, reported lost book of um, which is supposedly supposed to be um, um, made and created by Nostradamus or his son um, but nevertheless this image here I had decoded some time ago and I have a video out on my YouTube channel and I was telling you that the horse turned up like this represented genetic bridging and then within the horse's body there are multiple other images that show the cause um, for existence of mankind and some of the mutations and all that actually um, were um, were um, contributing factors in genetic bridging to the becoming of man. Now, um, you have the Pope here, and in my last video I told you that this object right here coming from the Pope represents a larger than life penis there showing you that these genetics this would be a penis showing you that these genetics were bridged with the Pope and then the Pope actually this is a new bloodline new genes coming on out and this is what this represents and that's why the Pope has his hand on this figure's head right here and this person is down touching at the Pope's penis now and it looks like a cartoon image and it seems like a joke at first but first of all you have to use and use common sense and say well why is this object protruding from down here by the Pope like that then and why is this person what is this per person touching at the Pope you know what I mean and I'm identifying this object as that of a penis okay and um and these are the genetics taken taken in by the pope the pope was genetically bridged shown by the horse and these image people are in circulation now i'm going to bring back an image i just posted yesterday where this is a catacomb image and look at the similarities of these images that's adam i mean i'm sorry i'm um, abraham and um the reported image of wh where he was supposed to be slaying his son or about to slay his son and he was stopped supposedly by an angel but look Isaac at Adam's crotch area growing area there's the horse and I have identified this as a genetic building block and then I showed you the ape that's right there encrypted in the side of um Abraham's face there you see that the ape looking down now these genetic bridges have been going on since the beginning of time I can go back even further, but these people are at the center of it all. This image from the Lost Book of Nostradamus clearly shows it. The same exact thing that is depicted here. And there's the penis. There's Adam's mouth. I mean, I'm sorry, Isaac's mouth. I keep saying Adam. I don't know why Adam is on my mind here. But anyway, that's Abraham and his son Isaac. And I told you that there's a dinosaur encrypted in the clothing or the um, the wardrobe there of um, of Abraham, and it shows a dinosaur. In this, um, um, which actually is suggesting the ancient genetics of this creature over here, which is the horse. Okay, it shows you what genetics are being bridged and what's being altered. Now, there's the horse. A unicorn saying the same thing an ancient horse mythical actually look the horned horse the unicorn which is saying the same thing as what is being suggested here the horse which came from the dinosaur that's what this image is saying here there's Isaac down at Abraham's penis and the penis is actually shown people if you actually google the image this is a 320 um, Fresno um, via Latina catacomb Rome image okay and it's from um, ninth, I mean no I'm sorry it's, um, 320 AD okay so you can google the image 
and get that information as well okay and what's more impressive about this is that there's an ape right there in the side of his face looking down there's an image of an ape right there all right here the apes I'm at the apes forehead the apes eyebrow area his eyes right there coming down over top of the apes nose the apes mouth is down here and it's gray in color it's an off color than what Abraham is and there's more there, but right there at the finger, my fingertip, there is an ape looking down. Letting you know that these gen what genetic splicings are being done and how they were genetically bridged. This image is saying the same exact thing. Ancient genetics being altered and manipulated. In this case, it's utilizing the Pope. Pope penis showing you. It's altered, it's encrypted to, to show, I mean, you can't have the Pope's penis out like they actually did here, encrypted with um, with Abraham, because that would be too, I mean, uh, it would be game over, that would be showing you. But this object protruding out from the Pope is a larger than life penis, meaning that the Pope's genetics were enhanced, overcame ancient genetics, and now he has this. Um, oh gosh, this this super genetic, if you will, you know what I mean? That's actually coming out and it's altering the genetics of mankind. Now there's other encryptions that wraps around, like just here, like you have in the in the wardrobe, like right here, you have the dinosaur, and then you have the penis cleverly hidden and coming out. That encryption style is also here as well too, because if you look here in this lost book of Nostradamus page. You will see genetics taken off, and it shows you that there is a snake, which represents the a reptilian bloodline. Okay, right there, and it represents a specific genetic of a being that calls for our existence. And I know the path of that. Okay, I know, I know what I know what this represents. I know what the snakes mean, in other words. Okay, so. Um, and I mean, it's absolutely incredible, people. It's, it's, it's really remarkable, to be totally honest with you. And this creature, I have found to be in space, and I know how that it evolved onto our planet. How it evolved through our planet, what it evolved through, and where this is at right now, and what's going on with this. This is real. All right. I'm going to make this video a short video because I just wanted to show you how when one remarkable discovery is made, it links to another. Now, you have a lot of images down with their hands, people with their hands tied behind their back, kneeling before popes and clergy. Now you can take these, these images, people, and make sense of them. So when you see an image like that, when a person with their hands tied behind their back or tied in front, kneeling down in a sense, and then you see these animals, the horse, other animals, you know that there is a genetic bridging, and now you can understand what the images mean. Look at look at look at how this image is. Look at that, and then look at it here. The same exact message. The same exact message, people. Genetic bridging. You see that? And there's always that figure in the middle. I did the same exact thing with Noah. In my video before this with Noah. Where Noah's, um, let me see if I can pull that image up before I um, close this out. If I can find that image, I don't have it up here, I guess, now. But I did the same exact thing with, um, with Noah. And that larger than life penis being out with Noah there. Let me see if I have it up here. Probably not when I need it. I can't find it. All right, I'm going to have to let that go. But, um, yeah, the same exact thing with Noah. You know, I'm going to do, I'm going to be doing, here's, here's an image that I do have with the penis. And I'll be coming back to that. You see that larger than life penis right there, people? You see the larger than life penis here? I'm gonna be decoding. I'm gonna be doing some in images with um, with Jesus next. You see the um, the, the the boy down here. Here's a here's an image for you right here. 
You see that penis in this, at the center there of Jesus? That is very controversial. See that penis right there? It is stating <clears throat> the same exact thing as what is here. And what is and what is here? The same exact thing. The alter genetics. And the only way that they could actually tell you and imply this is that without writing it out for you and spelling it out on paper, is in imagery. Okay? And this tells you the story is told in the picture. There was genetic bridgings that altered the ancient genetics of mankind. The ones that sacrifice and lay down their bodies on the cross, which I told you the cross rep represents the cross referencing of genetics. The new lines, bloodlines, and new genetics passed out onto other bodies, which picks up the torch and spreads it on and keeps going and on and on. Okay? Um, you can make sense of these um, these historical images now. These these portraits done by the likes of uh, Rembrandt, Michelangelo, Bernini, the sculptures. The stories have always been there, and the encryption styles, although they have changed, there's many of them. They have changed. They are all signifying the same thing. And um, you can look for more people. Um, you can look for more. I wonder if I gave you this here. Also in this image as well too. And you can see the little faces that I showed you there. And here. All of this stuff here I know what it means. And here. You can see. There's, there's a nose there. There's a mouth. You see these faces? Now check this out. I'm going to do the same thing. You see that, that head there? Let me see if you can see that. On the back of the horse right there that I just drawn for you. There. And let me see if you can see what this creature is. See, I know what these creatures are. And how they evolved onto our world and through us. So I know what they represent. The same exact thing. And that's why I can come over here. And you can see their faces. The same exact images, well not the exact, but similar images, are shown. And you'll see it snaking over and coming around. And you see these images where they encrypt it. You can see what that, what that actually is, don't you? See that face there? It shows you the face of this guy here going through Abraham and how it was picked up and altered shows you a, a, ge a genetic change on how this is being weakened and being sent out it's being weakened from its original ancient state and showing how it's being weakened and that's what's going on here and that's why these genetic manipulations and alterings are keep going on all right. It's showing the weakening and destruction of some genetics and the creation of new. And this is how we have all of our different likenesses and, and human life forms. Or even changing the genetics of animals as well, too. And I know how it's all being done. All right. My name is Jerome Wright. This is my Jeronification channel. Okay. Um, you can... Um, you need you can go to my my alien UFO site which is dreams and experiences if you uh, if you um go to alien UFOs they have their form um scroll down till you find dreams and experiences um there um at dreams and experiences scroll down until you see I am an alien and so are you they have different topics and um Scroll down till you find my name. My name is there. I am an alien and so are you, Jerome Wright. Well, it actually says Jerome. And you'll see my phone. Now, I have over 200, going on 300 pages there. So, 
it's a lot. I found my way. It's a lot for you to start out to try to read, to be totally honest with you. In the beginning, I struggled and was trying to find my way. But you will see a genuine effort of mine of trying to understand what was happening to me. And I stuck with it and, and stuck with it and stuck with it. And to finally, I got evolved through that site and to finally get it on to, um, to YouTube to creating these videos. Okay, now again, I am not the best narrator for these videos, okay? And, and, science, and from a science standpoint and from a medical standpoint, um, it's difficult for me to explain what is happening. However, I am confident that one day that I will have a team that will do this for me. All I have to do is point them to what it is that I know is going on and then they can add the scientific and go to it all and um, it can take off from there. You know what I mean? So there's, there's still yet a lot to be seen people. I have a lot of um, information. I might take us back in space again. I don't know. Um, I love I love doing my space videos even though a lot of people don't. Um, I didn't get a, a popular response as I thought that I would for that but um but um, this stuff here that you see here is in raw form depicted in space and gas matter. Now, I do not have to BS you with that. I do not have to play games with you with that. I want to be famous just for this, this stuff here. I'm going to be famous just for that already. So I don't have to uh, uh, play games or make things up as I go along or whatever. I'm telling you that what's here is depicted in raw form in space and gas matter and in everything that, that is around us um, on my alien UFO site it even explains what I found our space to actually be so there on that site you would actually see that as well too and um, um, in fact I can tell you a portion of it now so you can if you're actually interested in it, I've discovered before I found all of this stuff how I was led to this stuff is that I discovered that space, all of space, was behaving like that and was modeled like that of what a kidney stone infection would be in a human being. Meaning the containment rings and, and uh, the stones, the breakdown of the stone. I mean, all of that. I realized that space was modeled or we were modeled a human with a kidney stone um, infection space was behaving in exactly in that shape and form even broken down to what stones look like that were actually extracted from um, from from humans bodies they even looked just like the rocks of that in space of, of, of planets and um, my investigations into that is what led me and came to the conclusion that space is in a larger body and it was in a certain portion of a larger body and that certain portion which I identified is in um, is in my uh, my findings and, and that's there is all on um, my alien UFO site alright so and and broken all down and you know what I mean in, in the best way that I could actually explain alright so um, with that I'm gonna leave you with this I just wanted to show you that the Lost Book of Nostradamus pages, which I have started decoding, well, decoded as well, too. I just wanted to show you that how one discovery links to the other. Here you have Abraham with the horse. Shows you the founding stone genetically bridged. His son Isaac at his penis. And then it shows a dinosaur right there at the other end of the penis. Okay, and it shows our ape right there at Abraham's face. The same thing I showed you that was in the um, in the drawings of in the study for the drawings for Leonardo da Vinci. The same image of the apes, and then of course in other the other bodies as well too. Okay, Leonardo da Vinci has the same exact ape image in the bearded area. Okay, as that with um, that of Abraham here. <clears throat> and these messages are all the same, which is genetic bridging. Okay, and I know the path of them all. 
Um, also, I think I told you that <clears throat> I know where the ape evolved from. I know where the ape came from. Okay. Um, there also was re reptilian apes. Okay. Um, I know where they came from. Um, <clears throat> and these messages are all in these Renaissance artists' artworks. And not just that, they're before that because even in my grand I have Grand Canyon discoveries and my videos are here on some of that as well too in places in the Grand Canyon there are depi depictions such as this with mankind figures and not just animals but creatures of our sea in the same exact positioning showing you the same exact thing the same exact message okay um, and the same thing that I have found in the Grand Canyon I found to be depicted in in, 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 um, in churches and um, and one of the images I think is the glorification of the IRRs IR it's the same exact thing that I have found to be in the Grand Canyon um, this is a uh, people it's just it's just so much but the good thing about all of this is that it, it all is interlinking with everything. You know what I mean? Just as I just showed you through three different images. If it's what's said here, it's said in it all. It just have different encryption styles, but it all has the same message. You digest this. Larger than life penis. Showing you how the Pope took in genetics sacrificed his body and then taken down out into creating new bloodlines and new genetics makes you wonder why it makes comes to sense why um popes when they pass on they, they don't give um they, you're not allowed to give them an autopsy a public autopsy there's there's that there they have their own medical teams none of that stuff None of their records, their medical records, become public. I mean, what's the big secret? Imagine their body going to a local hospital, and they're finding out that the genetics in this man, or, or whatever seated, seated pope there is, come to find out he has genetics in him of a reptile. Genetics that shouldn't be, let's say genetics that shouldn't be there. He got things going on in his body that just should not be. Then there's another problem that I have too. Is that you notice that every pope that there is, and I, I keep bringing, I'm going to bring this up and hammer this home, that how they, I mean, for them to be Sullivan, for them to be leaving such a righteous and clean life, that all of these popes look so sickly looking. I mean, they're bent over, they're, I mean, their skin, their flesh, I mean, they look, they look nightmares, like something that you would see in a horror movie or something. These popes do not look healthy at all. They look very, very sick. And for the history of their lives to be so much of that, of such a righteous one, and such a, and such a holy one, for them to look so sickly, it's absolutely crazy. Here's again... There's an image of the Pope there. I mean, this this is beyond just that of age. I mean, I would like to think that if I was not engaging in none of the the um the unchristian like things that make a person look evil and look devilish or whatever you want to have, then I would not look like that. When I'm, I would like to think that I would look like a 40-year-old man. I mean, a 40-year-old at the time that I reached maybe 70 or 80. Because of all of the above. But the reason why this is not the case is because these guys are taking and using their bodies as genetic experiments. And this is my reasoning for saying that they look so unhealthy. I mean, I've seen crackheads and, and, and people out on the street, street walkers, that look better than these people do. I see people that have, uh, uh, I've grown up with people that have abused their bodies all their lives. Doing totally the opposite of what this guy would be doing. And have 
the, the sexual mileage and the and alcohol mileage and the cigarette smoking mileage on them that are that 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 far exceeds that of what 30 or 40 people would do in abusing their bodies and still look better than this guy and all of those that 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 that, that, that um that preceded him I mean, what in the world is going on that these popes look so horrible? And I'm telling you that the deal is that they're using their bodies as genetic bridges. And these genetic alterings is what's taking their bodies down. It's like a genetic poisoning of their bodies. They take these genetics in and then they pass them out. Now, how are they passing them out on the masses? It's my belief that the body of Jesus that they're giving you during communion... And the blood of Jesus, which is supposed to be in the wine, I'm suggesting that it's very well possible that these genetics could be passed on and through there, and amongst themselves, through the bishops and through the monks. I'm saying that it is a direct, a direct hit, meaning that they are engaging in homosexual, bisexual, and lesbian acts meaning the nuns too, to transmit genetics from one person, genetic jumping from one person to the next. Okay? Now, it has probably gotten more scientific since then, but everything in my findings support what I say, that these genetic jumpings was going on, beginning with Jesus and going all the way back. There's records that show this, and this is why I can bring up an image of Abraham at the at the mouth at the at the crotch portion oh well at the penis of his father this is what this is all about people that's what that is all about see the dinosaur genetic bridging and that's why it's so easy down to understand why all of these images are so much alike. You know, I should have an image here because I'm going to do something here with 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 Jesus. I'm going to show you something similar too. Here's a catacomb image of Jesus that I'm going to be decoding, and I want to show you something about this too. First of all, you don't see this this mutation right here. Look at that mutated that head right there on the shoulder of Jesus. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing that image next. But look here, people. I'm gonna show you something. Let me back this image off on how all of these images are tied to one another. Where we at? There is a look at the horse. Horse at the one side. Jesus bridge and it's showing you taking off to the other side. Now that's supposed to be a cock over there, but I'm gonna explain something about that in my look for that in my next video. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ruin the surprise now. Okay, but I will show you the mutation. Look at the head right there. This is another catacomb image. Look at that head right there. That celestial head. And then look over here. These are mutations, people. And then look at the face of Jesus on the side of the face of Jesus. And you see other, you see that distortion there? There are other beings in there, mutations, right? Even right here at the throat area. I'm going to be doing another video um, uh, as far as in so much as far as that. But don't be surprised, people, because this Nervy Hall image that I have Jesus hanging up on this, on, on this what's it going here? First of all, I told you that this is a horned being right here. There's another image in there. I can fill in this whole catacomb image. But with Jesus in the body of that snake, and I draw the snake out for you, or the serpent out, so you could actually see what's going on. But anyway, to make a long story short, I just wanted to bring this image up and do this video to show you that, okay? That, that, don't be surprised of it, because all throughout all of this, biblical history and stories, that... It is still being shown. And this is why you have so many sexual allegations and, and molestations in Christianity. And I'm telling you that it just doesn't stop there. That it is in everything that is global of our world. Okay, with that, I'm going to get going, people. And my name is Jerome Wright. This is my, um, my Jeronification channel. And I'll see you on my next video. Thank you.